Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick review. Um, this will be like, I don't know, maybe the first part of the video. Um, I'll have to sit down and figure out how to hook this up to the Baofeng um, handhelds. So this particular video I'm doing now, I just kind of show you what it's in the package. I did get my um, R1 2020, uh, what the heck do they call it? I don't even know what the heck they call it. Uh, our, our R1 2020 Echo Link controller voice interface board USB sound card. Um, that's what this is. This is that blue box I ordered. It just came in today. Today is the September 17th, 2022. I ordered it August 31st. So if that tells you how long it takes, of course, it depends on where you live in the in the world. Um, I'm going to move these off. These have nothing to do with that right now. Okay, so this is all that comes in a package. Now, when I ordered this, I did not realize that I could have found one that had the other circuit board in it. Um, this is like a, I don't know if this one's for the Motorola radios, but there's another type of circuit board. I don't remember if it's a 25 pin maybe or 20 pin. I don't remember. But at the time, I did not realize that. By the time I found that out, it was already too late this was been shipped so so if you want both circuit boards you know maybe look for that particular one I will put in the description the link to this one and to links to other um, parts and uh, links to the users users manual this does not come with any users manual um, actually I'm on packaging it now this is how it came obviously it came in a box but this is how it, it I, I took it out of the box. So I spent $65 because I wanted the cables with it. Um, so we got the little blue box. Let's take this out. Hold on here. It's pretty a small little box, actually. I'll turn it around. Okay. Let me move this over. There it is. Move that. So this is the USB cables to hook to the computer okay so that's what those are and this without the adapter plugged in this is the interface cable that would hook to your radio whether it's with a the adapter for a, a different model or if you got to wire it yourself you could do it one of two ways you can buy a uh, I bought this separately. It's a little, this is a six DIN, a six mini DIN S video. That's what this cable is. It's actually an S video. Or well, I think also too it was used on, on some old uh, computer mouses, like the PS2, I believe is what they call the old computer mouses. Now, I did find another link to buy this cable for like six bucks. I have not bought it and made sure it's the right cable so I don't know if I want to post that link but I did buy these um, chassis mount you can see on their solder type so if a guy needs to adapt this there's a couple ways you can do this you can either use the cable that came with the unit and cut off a plug cut a plug off and then either get a solder type DB9 to plug into the Rudivis RT uh, 97S. That's one way of doing it. So you'd be kind of like doing this. Or get this and then you can plug this in. Let me do that once. Like that. And now I can solder my wire to my socket and not have to ruin the cable. I could put this in a little box, I suppose, but I could do it that way too. So that's just a, a you know a couple different ways of hooking this up to your radio. Um, I will also post the link to the owner's manual. Does not come with no owner's manual. Does not come with any drivers. So let's open this up. Here is the book for it. Okay, and I'm not going to go through all of this. I kind of did a video on this once already, but at any rate, um, 
down here, and this is what's inside of it, U.S. sound, card, audio detection, uh, serial um, chip for the USB, obviously a USB middle mouse key detection chip, um, some tra um, isolation transformers, you know, switch, you know, etc. Um, but it does say that I had to install a driver. Where did I see that? And here is the DIY connection if you got to adapt it to your radio. Like I said, I'll do, I'll, I'm going to hook this up and I'll shoot another video to, so you can see how it works. This is the one adapter I was telling you about for the Motorola radials. Um, but I believe I saw somewhere right here. So we got to install a, it should not, for the, for the sound card, Installation is not needed for the U.S. metal the chip. Um, driver is not needed, but you need to install the USB driver. And I got to figure out all this, so I'll have to figure that out. But we, we do need to install a USB serial driver. So we got to keep that in mind. Um, also, too, back on here, I'm thinking what I'm going to be doing, if you remember that one video that I did where I took, oh, right here. Here. I took the USB um, uh, sound card and I used the COM port, the USB to uh, COM port or D a DB9 uh, adapter. So I think what I'm going to do when I hook this up to the radio, I'm going to do it the same way with the ball fangs um, with, those, with those jacks. I'm going to reuse those jacks and I'm going to hook it up just like I did on the uh, DB9 connector. We got PTT, which we know I need a low on that to activate my ball fang. We got audio frequency out. We got audio frequency in. Um, obviously the in is going to be to the microphone of the computer and the AF out would go to the microphone on the radio. This is a squelch pin, so we're gonna have to see What's, where my switches are going to need to be, and then here pin two is ground. So I think I can get this to work with the with the ball fang, or maybe even the Redivus RT ninety seven S model. I don't have the S model, but I'm I'm in the process of trying to modify mine. So, at any rate, but um, so that's what my plan is. Like I said, it's not a very big box. Let me get some measurements here if you guys want to know. It's pretty small. Um, I'll just hold a tape measure and you guys can look at it here. That's the height, the width. Um, how thick. So, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad looking box. It's metal, which is going to help with, you know, reduce interference. Here are the switches on the side. Um, I think some of these switches have to, has to do with uh, different radios, like the Motorola. Um, there's another switch to ASL. I'd have to I'm gonna have to read on that what it is. There's an LED on here. It looks like when it's in red, it's in transmit mode. Right there's a little LED, and then this is where the USB it plugs into the computer. Uh, one is for okay. One's a serial port. One is USB detection and one is USB audio. So I'll have to kind of see which ones I got to use here for this. But um, it's a pretty nice little box. Like I say, it's 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 metal, which is good because you want you know nice nice metal box to um, help with interference. Now remember, I we kind of figured out that we can almost do the same thing by using, if you remember using this this is that uh, USB to DB9 connector I already did a video on that and using a USB sound card it's almost kind of close to what this box is you know um, the only thing is the box may have a little bit more features I'm gonna have to play with it uh, you know, it's, it's a little more, there's a switch you can flip, but pretty much, you know, what this is here 
is uh, pretty much kind of like what these are here, you know, more or less. And the reason why, like I said in my other video, you could almost do without this. You could just use your computer jacks. But then if your computer jacks are not very good or your sound card's not very good. So I think that's why, to avoid problems, they have boxes already have with built-in sound cards to avoid you know, problems with uh, the uh, uh, person's computer. If they're, Like I said, if their sound, sound card's not good or if they got bad jacks. So I think that's kind of why they, they don't try to use the um, user's built-in sound card for those reasons. So, but I just kind of want to let you know, it looks to be pretty decent quality. Um, I haven't taken it apart, and I don't know if I will. The diagram kind of shows you what's all in here. I find it kind of interesting. It's got a mouse, a middle, middle, what, are, what is that? Middle button mouse detect uh, chip. And I thought that was kind of interesting. That's something a little different. Yeah, Moto right here, switch position Moto. Then these are, okay, this is for the Motorola, and these are for the Kenwood. Um, so, yeah, so there you are. Um, yeah, so, but it's, yeah, right here. I think it's kind of interesting. USB middle key detect. I think you got to use that because for Zello, if you remember, it wants me to, to config Zello for the middle switch for, tr for transmit. Um, so I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, that's down here. This can also work on Echo Link too, I believe. Yeah, there's Echo Link. So let me go down here to Zello. Right here. Okay, connection to Zello. So so I'm going to need to use these two cables, which is going to be the kind of hard to read that the USB audio and the USB detection. I don't use the serial port. Looks like. Then I gotta config my, like I said before, I gotta config my plug for my radio, like I was talking about with that little um, jack that I bought separately. So, yeah, and that tells you here, leave that switch off. So, yeah, and then you go into software and you gotta config the software. You gotta select, like we did with the other USB card, we gotta select this, and then we gotta select push to talk middle mouse button so that's going to be interesting so like I said I'm going to have to play with this but it did come in um, as soon as I get done I got to take my other stuff apart and I can't do that until I shoot one more video and then I'm going to disassemble that USB COM port I'm going to disassemble all of my cables that I use for this and I'm going to reuse the cables to solder onto here so I can plug this cable in to this cable so I can use this box so but I don't want to I want to shoot a video first before I, I disassemble all of it so that's where we're at but I just want to do a quick video on here I'll post some links down below um, if you have any questions or comments please post them down below and please subscribe and thank you and have a good day